What's up guys, Jay's Two Cents here, and it's been a while since I had to make a video like this. In fact, the last time I did this was back in February of this year, 2015. Who knows when you guys are watching this? Could be the future, that's the way the internet works. Uh, with the falling out of Frozen CPU and all the drama that took place there, what's funny is a lot of people told me I was wrong regarding that situation, which I ended up being completely right about, but only because I had inside information. And I wanted you guys to be aware as customers of possibly not getting the products that you were paying for and getting your money tied up in you know, banks and trying to get refunds and stuff of a company that was completely defunct at that time. Now, I'm doing this once again, not about a company that you might not get your products from, but just to kind of make people aware of customer service and how important it really is when it comes to customers. Now, I want to start off by saying, yes, this is about the issue of Mayhem's, uh, you know, the maker of the pastel fluid. Basically, you guys have seen that when I was doing the Skunk Works vlogs over the past six months or so, that I had been dealing with color shifting when it comes to only one loop inside of my system where the yellow was turning a very brownish orange color over time. Now, yes, Mayhems did reach out to me back in October when I first mentioned that this was happening. Uh, well, I had mentioned that it happened the second time at that point. Um, Around about way, one of the reps for uh, aqua tuning actually got in touch with Mayhems and then Mayhems contacted me and requested a sample of the fluid be sent to them all the way in England uh, so that they could test the pH balance of it. Unfortunately, because they didn't have direct communication with me, they've never sponsored me, they've never sent me anything, they had no way of directly communicating with me. So by the time that communication made its way to me, the fluid was already down the drain, which is, I, I, didn't, I had no reason to save the fluid, especially when it came to being several days later, uh, the last thing I would have wanted to do is spill that stuff on my carpet. I mean, technically, it's it's not even safe to put down the drain, so you have to dispose of it a little bit differently around here where I live. So yes, first things first, when they say they reached out to me in the past, they did request a sample. I couldn't get that to them because the fluid was already gone. But let's go ahead and fast forward a few months here. Uh, I have done the Skunk Works vlogs now where I show that I'm updating the system, and I was really disappointed because of the fact that I've been using Mayhem's Pastel Yellow now exclusively for the last two years, the Sunset Yellow. And it was only recently when I started having any sort of problems with it. And I attributed that to the fact that it was the premix bottle. Now, I also want to address a lot of people were claiming that I may have mixed it improperly, where the parts, you know, the 250 milliliter bottle to 750 milliliters of water, I might have gotten that out of balance, which could have affected the pH neutral of the fluid itself. Well, I'm holding this bottle to show you that this was the first time I ordered pre-mixed fluids and I thought that might have been the issue. So then I drained it and then I put in a mixed fluid again or, or, or a concentrated fluid again, mixed it again and got the same results. Now, before I talk about the drama that happened on Twitter, because I know that's why you guys are watching this, it's important that you understand the order of events. Now, this is only happening in one loop. This is only happening in the GPU loop, not the CPU loop. And people have said, well, it's because you're using PETG, it's because you're using Tigon tubing, it's because of the heat in the GPU loop. Now, all those situations and scenarios could be true. It could be one, it could be all of them, with the exception of the tubing anyway. I was not using Tigon in this up until now. I put Tigon in there now that I'm using the Primo Chill fluid. However, I was using Primo Chill's advanced LRT tubing, which I picked up at Micro Center because it was on sale. So it wasn't Tigon in the basement. So yes, guys, I'm aware Mayhem says don't use Pastel with Tigon. Unfortunately, I wasn't using Tigon. Now, the comments that were made when it came to me doing this vlog. Yes, I said I am done with Pastel. If this had been a one-off scenario where it was only happening to me, then I might have been a little bit more interested in trying to figure out why. But if you just do a simple internet search, you guys will see that there has been a lot of people complaining about color shift on all the different colors that uh, Mayhem's actually sells when it comes to the Pastel nanofluids. Now, I've been a huge proponent for nanofluids. I have loved the actual temperature uh, decrease that you get with the nanoparticles. They seem to really do their job over just a standard fluid or even distilled water. But I just got really tired of having to tear this thing apart. And because so many people were having this problem, I looked at this as being a possible thing that's going to continue happening to me based on the components that are in this system. Now, the different things that are in the loop touching the fluids. We have got the acetal material in the pump. We've got the pump itself. We've got the acrylic reservoir. We've got PETG tubing. We had soft tubing in the basement and we had the copper radiators from Hardware Labs. Now, it really does point to the fact that it could very well be flux in the radiators that's causing this. However, I've cleaned these radiators now five times. This loop made fifth time of cleaning it. I had cleaned it four times and it was still changing color on me in only one loop. And that's what doesn't make sense to me is the fact that the CPU loop which has the same metals, the same radiators, and the same plastics touching it, 
were not changing color. Now thinking it might have been the soft tubing, Mayhems did reach out to me uh, back in October and say they didn't think it was the tubing, which at that point was like, well, that, I don't know what it could possibly be. I would have gladly sent them a sample, however, it was already gone. So go ahead and fast forward to the present where apparently they saw the last vlog and on Christmas Day decided to put me on a public blast where they were saying things like, well, Jay, maybe you should just stick to uh, air cooling and drilling through main boards or learn how to water cool before you talk. And basically took a very personal attack on what I was saying about Pastel being sensitive because let's not fool ourselves here. Pastel is sensitive to impurities in the loop and the Pastel uh, nanoparticles pick up those, those impurities and will actually start circulating through, that, through the loop. If I turn the loop off for more than a day, a black film was forming on top of the yellow. So I don't know what the black is, but again, like I said, it didn't really matter. I wanted to move on to something else and try other things. But it's somewhere along the lines, they took this as some sort of a personal attack of me saying that I personally am not gonna use Pastel anymore. Uh, I never once told people it was a bad product. I never once told people not to use it. In fact, plenty of people have come to their defense and said that they've had absolutely no problems with uh, their Pastel and their, their systems, which is always kind of funny to me. Not that I, I'm calling them out of being wrong. I, I see the pictures. There's, there's no reason for me to believe that they would lie about that. It's just that it looks like the components that they're using are identical to mine, with the exception of the radiators. So that's what makes me think it could possibly be the radiators. Uh, but I, I don't know. I mean, hardware labs have, have known to be pretty clean radiators. I have acid cleaned them, as well as flushing out all of the acid, used vinegar, distilled water, everything I possibly could think of to clean these radiators out and they continue to change color in only one loop. So my thought here is that the heat of the GPU loop is accelerating the process of whatever's happening, but the heat isn't actually the source of that. So there's plenty of people saying they've had good experiences with this, and there's no reason for me to tell people not to buy their product. But what I am gonna tell you today is you need to be aware of what it is you're actually supporting. Now, as I've said before, Mayhem's is not a sponsor. They have never sent me a single product. Everything you see here, the dyes, the coolants, and everything, up until the last Skunk Works update was actually purchased out of pocket by me because I have supported Mayhem's, shoot, I wanna say 2011 or 2010 was the first time I started using their products and I was in love. I thought everything they did was great. All the client builds I did were actually using um, Mayhem's like X1 fluids. Coconut Monkey's fluid uh, system that I just did an upgrade on, that blue, was a Mayhem's fluid. I have been using Mayhem fluid exclusively since I've been doing YouTube and before. So I don't understand what it is that made them really go off the rocker, but they started to attack me personally. But if they would treat someone who has the amount of reach that I do, telling people about my experiences with products and customer service, which is the whole point of this channel, what would they do and how would they treat someone who doesn't have a following? Now there's a lot, a lot of customer feedback out there of Mayhem's just having complete and utter bad attitudes, which is really unfortunate. Not, I mean, you can see here in some of the screenshots that this is the way that they reach out to people when they have some sort of a problem. Now, admittedly, the first time, they did not act this way. So the point of today's video is to understand a couple of things. One, I never said Pastel was a bad fluid. I never said that. I said I'm done with it. I've used it in every build I've done uh, since I started the channel, once I upgraded from the AMD system, which was using distilled water with uh, XSPC uh, concentrate in it, the red one. I have only used their products because I thought it was a great product. And my job is to also let people know about my experiences with various things. And my experience has been, without a doubt, that the Pastel has been changing colors on me for whatever reason. Now I never said, again, I know I'm repeating myself because it's very important that you understand, I never said don't buy Pastel. I never said don't buy Mayhem's fluid. Mayhem's dye is currently in my orange system right here, which you guys have been watching me build. So if I hated the company so much, why would I still be using their product? because I think they make a good product. It's just unfortunate that they don't know customer service or how to treat the customers. So the bottom line here, based on what you've seen, is for you guys to decide on your own if you're okay with buying a product and supporting a company that treats its customers this way, or if you want to speak with your dollars when it comes to not supporting a company that would treat their, their customers this way. I, I really, if you guys have had experience with Mayhem's, uh, put your experience down in the comments. Let other people read and try and decide. Now do me a favor. This is not a lynch mob. This is not a Jay's Army call to action, boycott mayhems. This is Jay telling you my experience and letting you guys decide how you want to best handle the situation for you. I don't, would never tell a person not to buy something uh, because I always feel that the decision and the choice is yours to determine. The only time I said don't buy anything was from frozen CPU and that was because uh, your money was going to get tied up 
in the banks because there was no one there to fulfill your order and you're gonna to have to put in claims and that was gonna be a big deal. So I didn't want you guys to get your money stuck. That was the only time I've ever done that. But I can tell you right now that moving forward, simply based on their customer service, I can no longer recommend spending your money on a company that would treat its customers this way, which is really unfortunate because I think they make a good product, they really do. I love the way the Pastel looks. I've always loved the way that the, the clear, or the, the, the opaque, very solid uh, appearance of the coolant looks. And I really wish I'd gotten down to the bottom line of what was happening in the loop. And I didn't even think to save any of the coolant this time around. In fact, I think I might actually have a small sample of it still. I know there's some still sitting in the blocks, but I didn't think to save it again this time, which is my bad, because I wasn't in communication with Mayhems. Like I said, they're not a sponsor of mine. They're not somebody I work with. So I didn't think on the surface, like I should send this off to Mayhems. But I don't know exactly what they would have come up with because their answer always seems to be the same. It's acidic or it's pH level or it's your radiators. They've never once come back and said it's the fluid. Maybe that's the truth. I don't know. Like I said, I feel that the coolant is sensitive I never said the coolant is bad, I said it's sensitive to impurities in the loop. Tiny Tom Logan over at OC3D.net has had the same problem, and unfortunately he had the same response, where Michael Wood put him on blast. Now the other thing I want to point out too is a lot of people have said things like, wow, you should fire your PR guy for the Twitter account. You guys need to understand that all those tweets that you saw were from the owner himself, not a PR guy. So that attitude is coming from the top. Is this the now I want to address that real quick too. We're very passionate about what we do. I'm passionate about my channel, I'm passionate about my work. We're human beings, so are they. And when we feel attacked, it's knee-jerk reaction to kind of attack back because you feel like your values and your morals and your ethics and your standards have been attacked. And then you take that at a very personal level and by reciprocating the exact uh, actions that you get. I'm guilty of it. I'm guilty of being someone who's been fairly aggressive in my comments and on my YouTubes because sometimes you're just having a bad day and you go and you read a comment and you think, wow, I do all this hard work. I do all of, I, I spend a lot of time and sacrifice a lot of time to make these videos for you guys. Yeah, it's my source of income and you guys have to sacrifice your time to go to work and stuff. But sometimes if you guys work overtime, uh, you know, sometimes you miss out on things because you feel an obligation and a dedication to the audience, at least I do, to make sure that I get you guys content that you guys want to see. And if you want to see it, great. If you don't, take a hike. I don't want you here anyway if you don't want to see it. That's the bottom line. Uh, so I understand what it's like to feel taxed and, and get sensitive and overreact to a situation, which clearly Mayhem's did here because he felt his work was being attacked, which is kind of sad because I never attacked it. I simply said, I'm going to try something else now. It's time to try something else. I mean, I wasn't, oh, if, if you thought I was only going to use Pastel from now on, then, I mean, that was kind of a, that was kind of a crazy thing to think. But anyway, so I can understand where he's coming from and I'm not giving him a buy and I'm not giving him a pass. I didn't even want to make this video, but so many people on Twitter wanted to know exactly what was happening that I decided this video needed to be made and you guys need to decide on your own whether or not this is a company you want to support. Unfortunately, I will no longer be supporting Mayhems in the future. I will no longer be using their, their products in any of my builds. I'm sure on my side of the line, people are jumping up and down like, yay, Jay, yay, Jay. That's not what I'm asking for. And the same thing for the people who are attacking me, defending Mayhems, that's perfectly expected too, because a company they like is being, well, I wouldn't say attacked, but a company they like um, is getting unfavorable response from somebody who has some pull. And I can understand their, their knee-jerk reaction too, to, defend a brand that they really care about, right? We all do that with Intel, AMD, NVIDIA, right? Somebody attacks AMD as an AMD fan, you attack the NVIDIA fanboy. It's no different, it's really no different. But the difference here is when you're a company or you're a public personality like myself or Jerry or um, Logan over at Tech Syndicate, doesn't matter. Everything you do gets scrutinized. So to think, oh, you know, they're human, just let it go. Yeah, the difference is when there's a lot of eyes on you, the way you respond and the way you talk, definitely can reflect on you. And I'm certainly not perfect and I'm guilty of knee jerking too. And for that, I'm also apologizing to anyone that I may have offended with any of my knee jerk reactions. Uh, but I can at least say I understand where they're coming from on why they reacted the way they did. It's just unfortunate that uh, I went to bed last night thinking, well, maybe I overreacted. Maybe I should chill out a little bit. Uh, woke up thinking, okay, maybe I should do a video about fluids and what to look for and what to, if you're going to use Pastel, the kind of maintenance that might be involved prep for the system, as well as what might happen and let you guys decide, because after all, that's been my experience with it. But then last night and this morning, remember they're in the, they're in the UK, so there's about a nine to 10 hour difference here in time. So I went to bed, woke up thinking, wow, okay, 
how can I make the best of this situation and keep this from getting any more line drawn in the sand and fanboys lining up on both sides? Because I don't want that. I don't want my fans attacking Mayhems and vice versa. Uh, but then I woke up and saw that they claim they have a new PR guy and they're being very apologetic on Twitter and, and owning up saying I made a mistake. But then to see that they're only trash talking on Facebook now on their personal accounts. So there really is no remorse there. So anything you guys see on the surface from Mayhem's apologizing is just, it's just damage control. It's not genuine and it's not true. So that's also for you guys to determine if that's what you want to support. So there it is. That's what happened in a nutshell. I said I was done using Pay Pastel. Never said I had a problem with the company. In fact, I still use, still use a lot of their products and still endorse a lot of their stuff. Um, PC part picker lists I'd put together. People ask me what products to buy, what fluids to buy. I always recommend Mayhem's. But now, that's no longer going to be the case. I will always recommend the alternative, and it's unfortunate. And it's not like I'm the end of the company. It's not like I'm going to hurt their bottom line. They might notice some dip in sales, but guys, I'm just one person on the internet with one opinion, and that's what it comes down to. And you guys are a lot of people with lots of opinions, so let's hear them. Down in the comments, I know this is going to be a flame fest. Try and keep it civil. Remember, vote with your dollars. If you guys are okay with supporting a company that treats its customers this way, it's your money, it's your choice. I won't do it anymore. All right, guys, sound off. See you next time.